Hey everybody, Jim the Tabletop Engineer here. I'm going to be making some sci-fi terrain and I need Greedleys, the little detail pieces, and I never have enough. So in this video, I'm going to make me some. I began this project by just creating an 8.5 by 11 work plane in Tinkercad and then I went in and I just started making random shapes. At first I started out with the little building blocks that are each 1 8 square and I made some you know sci-fi-ish looking little greedly bits. And then after I made those I just made a whole bunch of copies and you know pulled them over to the left side and then I started making some circular or half circle type shapes. I spent maybe half an hour doing this, uh, a lot of copying and pasting, duplicating, and what I ended up with was this nice collection of terrain here. Anything that's touching the work plane can be exported for a laser cutter. So all these shapes I can take to my laser cutter. Uh, I send them into the Glowforge software and set the power and speed settings. These are all based on experimentation and the entire run will take about 13 minutes. Each month, Bexham's Bazaar RPG and Wargaming magazine provides gamers with articles, props to print and cut out for players, mini adventures, new monsters, and much more. Look in the description below for details on how to get a few free issues so you can see what you're missing. Now I've turned the volume down because this thing puts out sound like a, like a uh, vacuum cleaner, but as you can see, um, it's running also at four times speed, but it's very precise. You can make a lot of really cool little greebly shapes um, for, for, for anything. These are just happen to be what I consider for sci-fi. Here's some panels uh, with rivet cutouts that I'm making. And again, 13 minutes for well over 100 pieces. And a lot of the pieces, the waste can be kept, like those rivets. They're just tiny circles. I kept them. Uh, and there's even smaller pieces that, uh, that got kept once I lifted the board out. Here's the uh, final bit of laser cutting, and then you'll see the, uh, the laser pull away when it makes the final few cuts and shows the rest of the board. Now, after about, a, after about five minutes of letting the, um, the filter pull all the smoke out, I open the lid and I take the pieces out. Now, the, the laser cutter is so precise, a lot of these parts some of them pop out very easily, as you'll see in just a second, and some of them you have to push out with your finger. But that should tell you how thin that cut is and how sharp the edges are for this particular uh, project. All right, so here is the little container that I did to collect them. As you can see, it's a mix of parts. I did some panels, and these actually have holes that I didn't clear out. Let's do that. There you go. Little panels. I have those in different sizes, uh, two different sizes, small and smaller. <laughs> I also have gears, little gears. You can see the precision of the teeth there. It's incredible. Circles, triangles, weird shapes, you know, all kinds of things that you would need in like a sci-fi build. Um, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. The, this was just sort of an experiment to see if I could do any kind of grill work. And I uh, hope you can see that. Look at the, look at the uh, cutouts, triangles, or diamonds cut out. I'm thinking about doing something like this for um, like a basing, to glue on top of a base for some type of uh, sci-fi uh, gridded walkway or whatever. But yeah, I mean couple, I don't know, I didn't even count, probably well over 100 pieces in here. And it took about 13 minutes to print. Not bad at all for, for what you get. I'll probably uh, try some different variations of um, shapes and things. I'm going to get rid of the little pointy pieces. They just didn't work out right. This is, uh, it almost looks like a, a fragment that got left over, but believe it or not, it's, it's a piece. Now, as you can see my fingers, there's a little bit of ash left on the edges. Oh. Some, some of them. So your fingers get a little powdery. This washes right off. One person told me that what you can do is you can take all these pieces, put them in a Ziploc bag, and sprinkle some salt in it, and then shake it, shake it, shake it really, really well. And the salt is abrasive in nature, and it'll take all that ash off. And then when you dump them out, you'll, you'll have pieces that don't have but, uh, ash. But, you know, I'm going to paint over these, so I don't really care if they have a little 
ash. Once I glue them in place, they'll get primed over and, and done. So there you go, uh, 13 minutes. And I've got uh, well over 100 different little uh, pieces that'll be, uh, that I'll be able to use in my next sci-fi terrain build. Okay, there you go. Bunch of little gravies for my next sci-fi build. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope you like this. I'm going to do more of these little bonus videos that I'll just post up when they're done. And they're not quite long enough to put up for the Wednesday video. But I hope you enjoy them. And if you want to see more, do let me know. Leave a comment below. All right, that's all I got. This is Jim, the Tabletop Engineer. I'll be back next Wednesday with a brand new crafting video. Take care.